Sometimes backpackers focus too much on big name brands with flashy ads in popular magazines. We're all guilty of it. Those same publications and people often forget to show love to brands who create great products without the glossy centerfolds. No, not those kinds of centerfolds. So, when our editor tossed me the Zebra Light H52 headlamp, I was intrigued and delighted to see an item and brand I didn't know. The Zebra Light H52 AA Neutral White combines everything we love when it comes to headlamps. Lightweight, durable, versatile, one button operation, in a rich feature set without any advertising hype. Throw in a super bright LED and the Zebra Light H52 headlamp clinches the premium pick for the ultralight backpacker. Choosing a headlamp might have your head spinning, we've got an outdoor guide for that. Inform yourself and watch the full video of the Zebra Light H52 headlamp. January was a tough month for gear testing. My dad turned 70. I got sick. Work was hectic. But excuses are for politicians and teenagers. I was excited to get on the trail and test the Zebra Light H52 way a neutral white, a product name that's hard to remember and hence for dubbed the H52. So I geared up for the cold and headed to a local fire road for a trail run. I'm very picky when it comes to headlamps and wanted to put the H52 to a particular test. Down the running. No, most backpickers don't run downhill at full speed, but I can't stand a bouncing piece of metal or plastic strap to my face. So this was a warm up for the H52. The road made a steep ascent for 1.5 miles before leveling off. I ran up. Great. I ran down. Not so great. I'll touch more on that later. After the run test, I knew I needed to test for my most frequent scenario, hiking at night and setting up camp after dark. In true fun hog style, I loaded my overnight kit into the car the night before and went straight from work to the trail end. The walk to camp was about 2.5 miles, by no means challenging. But when I haven't hiked at night in a while, the distance always feels twice as long. I stop for every leaf rustle and periodically check over my shoulder for bears and axe murderers. If you don't check, you won't see them coming. I started with the H-52's brightest outboat, but quickly realized that 280 lumens was overkill. After requainting myself with the click sequence, I was able to quickly move through different outputs with ease and found a happy home on one of the middle settings. As I got into camp, I was stoked to see that my favorite spot had not been wiped out by recent flooding. Yes, California finally got some rain. It was pitch black and the stars were burning as I pitched the tent. The H-52 comes with a little clip to convert the unit from headlamp to trusty flashlight. I was able to pop it onto the door of my tent as I inflated my pad and fluffed my sleeping bag. I seriously love this feature. I have a big head. No, I'm not cocky. My skull is large. Most lamps are heavy or stick out far from my face and require me to crank down the headband to keep it in place. Not the H52. It's light enough that I can keep the strap comfortable and the stretchy headband and silicone holder feel great even under a hood or against the skin. Two words, metal casing. Almost no one uses a metal casing anymore. The H52's case is machined aluminum so it's still super light. I don't have two years to put the light through hell but I foresee it lasting many years. The H52 is bright. Even on pitch dark trails, I only needed the lower of the two medium settings for perfect lighting near and far. The beam is pretty focused, so it's great for spotting and close-up tasks. I do prefer more spread beam, but it wasn't too distressing. Zebra light specs on the H52's battery life are pretty accurate. I left a fully charged and loop rechargeable AA in the light for two weeks prior to testing, and this did significantly impact battery life. I was able to get about two hours of full output and customization before the device permanently stepped down output to low. I appreciate that the light automatically steps down output when charge is low to extend battery life, and this bought me time before having to switch to a fresh cell. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.